Hi, fourth graders. I wanted to say hello and also try out this new and exciting tool of Zoom and record a video to kind of share with you some things that I wanted you to work on during this week. Don't worry, they're gonna be super simple and easy. They think of this week as time to get used to our new technology that we're using and to work out any problems we might have. And you can always email me or Zoom me if you have any questions, okay? So what's gonna happen is every Monday, I'm going to create a short video that will give you an idea of what our goals are for this week. So think of it kind of like our morning meeting on Mondays. What I want you to work on this week in math is I would love for you to log into our Khan Academy that's on our Canvas page. And there are eight lessons there for you. The eight lessons are review. So nothing new will be said to you this week. So the review this week is gonna be working on factors and multiples. The lessons themselves are super short, easy peasy, and straight to the point. So don't stress if there's something that you think is gonna to be too much. It's actually things you've already done before. Now remember, you have a whole week to finish those eight lessons. So I don't want you to get worried about the time that you have, okay? In reading, I would love for you to log on to StoryWorks through the Canvas page that I showed you last week. I want you to focus on week one, day one only. Now there's gonna be three stories that you can pick from and you only have to pick one. I'll repeat that. You only have to pick one out of the three. Now, if you want to read all three, do it. I love it. But your expectations for this first week is just read one thing. That means you can read it to yourself, you can read it out loud, you can read it to your brother, your sister, your dog, your cat, I'll read mine to Mala, and go from there. Um, working off of StoryWorks for your writing this week, I want you to review and practice your five W's, summarizing the StoryWorks cho choice that you picked. Now remember, five W's, who, what, where, when, and my favorite, why. Who is the story about? What happened? What was the problem maybe? Where and when is the setting? When did it take place? Where did it take place? But my why, the why is my most important. Why did the author write this message? Think of it as the author's purpose, okay? Now don't forget, we worked really, really hard before school stopped in adding citations. Remember, a citation is a quote, word for word, from the story to support something that you have to say. So your citation could be who the story's about, or your citation could be where or when it, uh, the story is taking place. So you do have to have a citation, one of your five Ws, so make sure that that's in there. Also, when you're reading your summary, Read it out loud. That's when you hear problems and things that you might not normally hear that's in your head. So that's always a good thing for you to remember. Now you might be asking, well, Miss Personet, how am I gonna get you my summary? You have some options, okay? Some things you can do, type it up. You can type it to me in an email and practice your typing skills. That's great. You can write it on a piece of paper and have it, your parents take a picture of it and send it to me through Blooms or they can take a picture if you write it out and send it to me through an email. Any way works. Now I want to make sure you understand. These three things, Khan Academy, reading your one story works, and writing a summary using your five W's, you have all week to complete these. If you want to get it out and bust it out and do it, do that. If you wanna take a little piece at a time and do a little bit here and there, then that's the way your brain works. I love it. If you wanna wait until Thursday night at seven o'clock to do everything, that's on you, dude. I love it, that's fine. Now we are not going to meet this week in small groups. This week again is just to get familiar with the things that we're doing and review some things that you're already rock stars at. So don't stress about that. Next week, we are gonna try and meet together. But this week, I just want you to feel comfortable logging on and doing what you gotta do to be successful. Now, if you have any questions, 
please, please always email me. We can Zoom together and we can do a share screen and we can look at things. Whatever you need, I'm always here for you. Always. Parents, if you need me as well, I'm here for you too. Now, everything that I've said, all of the assignments and the things that you need, I'm going to attach to this email in a Word document. So if you're like, wait, what am I supposed to do? That'll be there for you too. All right? All right, friends, I miss you so, so much. And let me know if you need anything, okay? You're going to be great. Peace out, babes. Bye.